king on the landmine and we're singing hallelujah. Thrown into the end times and we're singing hallelujah. Gonna take my, take my, take my for the future. Baby. It's kind of like a, a, a big bowl of gumbo a lot of a lot of different ingredients um you know you got hip-hop and classical and everything else in between for nearly 20 years black violins will be and kev marcus have been making music that fills the heart we can do anything The duo met at a performing arts high school in Florida, both classically trained players, but not originally by choice. How did you ever pick up a violin? My mother made me do it. My mom is the reason why I started playing. I started playing when I was 14, and I wanted to play the saxophone at first when they put me in the wrong class, true story. And from there, I just kept going. <laughs> And they're still going, bursting stale stereotypes wherever they play, sometimes even on the way to the next gig. When we come on airplanes, every time we, you know, we always have an instrument, the, the flight attendants always say, oh, you're going to give us a concert? They always say that. So we was like, all right, this time we're going to give you one. Wow. We got a little applause. It was cool. This is my baby right here. I don't name my instruments like other people in my band. Say hello to Tiffany. And this is when I play on stage. Now, she's a beauty. The duo love to perform, especially for kids. The Black Violin Foundation reaches 100,000 students a year through performances and free clinics. Our message for kids is a broader message of what can you do that no one else thought was possible. Hey, man, good job. You're playing good. This is the best job ever, man. This is just, um, it's amazing to be able to do what we do and not only inspire, uplift, and entertain, but, you know, we, we ourselves are having fun every day. You know?